today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, Verray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Verray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day, another day of a scandal, another, you know, pieces of tea that keep dropping everywhere. Um, girl, if you didn't watch my last video, go and watch it because apparently Ariana is getting hit by the IRS with like a bunch of tax liens that it might be. Uh, Tom Sandoval's fault girl. We already talked about that in my last video. So make sure to go and check that out after you finish this one um, girl, so You know, we're gonna keep talking Vanderpump rules scandal day 11 and uh, well kind of like scandal but also kind of like what is happening right now in Vanderpump rules because now that you know this whole thing is out there um, it has been very cathartic you know it has been very kind of like we we cannot believe that we are seeing this this girl on our tv and and and, and that now we're experiencing all of these situations and one of the things that we all are doing is kind of like watching or even re-watching the show with a new set of of eyes you know like we we have our scandal glasses on and now we see everything like on a new light right and we are picking on every single behavior we are trying to see every single thing that um tom sandoval is saying to raquel how raquel is behaving how is she reacting to ariana the things that she has been saying to ariana because it's like like a constant thing you know like oh you're my friend oh i love you i'm together forever girl you know and i mean the way that we scream to our tvs you know it's like the lies the lies the lies like it's 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 kind of like watching you know how straight people watch football you know and they like scream at the tv that's what we're doing right now okay this is like our football right now like we are like screaming at the tv being like you are a fucking liar you know and or like ariana don't do it don't do it don't trust this bitch but apparently it's not gonna end up there and the next episode which is airing um i want to say tomorrow yeah um that's airing tomorrow girl mm -mm -mm, because according to andy cohen that video that that video that episode is going to be epic and he went on into like radio andy and he said that he received that episode weeks ago right and he haven't watched it because he was you know doing a thousand things and he finally got to see it before actually it airs and the first thing that he said to himself when he was watching the video was like oh my god people are literally going to believe that we re-edit the episode to you know fit the narrative to whatever is happening right now and apparently it's so explosive the things that Raquel is going to be talking about and the things that he that she is going to be saying to um I think Ariana Lala no I'm sorry they're, they're in Vegas right now I think so 
Uh, I think it's Lala, Katie, and Christina, and also Ariana. I mean, apparently it's going to be a mess, but apparently the things that she's going to be saying are so shocking. And like at the moment, he said like when, when you watch the episode, or if we wouldn't watch the episode without knowing about Scandoval, they wouldn't have been shocking, but like, okay, you know, like, oh my God, like that's shocking, but like, whatever, the girl is crazy, or, you know, we're still thinking about, you know, uh, Raquel and Tom Shore, to so like that kind of things, right? But apparently, because we know now about Scandoval, and what she really meant by every war, it's kind of like re-giving it a whole different meaning, you know? And he's saying, we did not re-edit the episode, this episode was ready and has been ready for weeks, for months even. So we did not came back. We did not cut anything or add anything. We did not re-edit. And the thing that you're going to be seeing is what she was really saying and how it exactly happened back then. And apparently it's going to be so shocking because it's now going to make a lot of sense giving a scandal. And I think this is very important because Lala Kent, she also came onto her Instagram the other day before this, you know, before Andy spoke. And she said something very similar. She said, like, uh, someone asked her this question and it was like, you know, have, you know, you, uh, is Vanderpump Rules re-editing any videos or any episodes to, like, make it fit the narrative? And she says, no, she says, this is fake. Whatever you're going to be seeing on every episode of this season that was already filmed, you know, before Scandal, nothing is being retouched. Nothing. Everything is however happened, the feelings that they were having in the moment, you know, however they were feeling about Raquel, like everything is right there. And I feel that there's that she and everyone is saying that because there there is some, I think some people were trying to look past Raquel's bullshit and some were more able to do it than another. But at the end of the day, I don't think anyone was expecting an affair with Tom Sandoval, you know? I think they were more like, ah, oh, this girl is fake, you know? Or like, she just wants to be part of the show or she's just making out with all of these people just to be part of the show. She doesn't give a shit about Katie Maloney. You know, that's why she's trying to go after Tom Short. And I think that's like, they, they, they already have that in mind. Like, oh, this bitch is so thirsty, you know? But I think they were never expecting like, oh my God, she has been having an affair with Tom Sandoval for eight months. Like, it's just, it's just something that you, you do not expect. It kind of, it goes to like another level. So I'm very excited. Like I'm trying, I mean, I'm trying to watch this episode. I, 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 I watched the last episode and I, like I told you, I was screaming at the TV. I was like, liar, 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 you know, all the time. But this episode, apparently the way that she's going to be reacting and the conversations specifically, Andy is saying, put attention to the conversations that Raquel is having with all of the ladies. Girl, I'm telling you, Vanderpump Rules best season ever. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all of this mess. And like always, if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.